It's Halloween at the Pick-A-Brick Wall. Coming up next. Hello everybody, this is Dr. McBrick and I found a whole bunch of cool stuff on the Pick-A-Brick Wall this week at the Lego store. Now I cashed in some points and also went to the Legoland Discovery Center in my hometown and uh, I found all kinds of cool pieces. So let's take a look. Okay, so let's take a look at the first cup. The first cup of things that I got here. Um, pour some of this stuff out and see what I got. All right, now these here are great pieces because these can be used for all different sorts of things. Obviously, they could be used as risers for steps and or they could be used for decor decorative purposes for kind of semi-arches or almost kind of a, a uh, oh, I don't even know what you call it, not a triangle, but you know what I'm saying, kind of a, a, a top to an onion type of look uh, of arch and things like that on a building. Um, so I got some of these in black. Um, these are good to have just for decorative pieces and also, again, like I said, to use for risers for steps. Um, I picked up some of these pieces. Uh, these are in the dark blue, and these are modified plates with a cheese wedge on top of them, basically, um, with a slope, a little slope, and these are good for all different kinds of things. These are good for stacking on top of one another. Um, if you had a uh, one by plate and you put it in here, you could keep stacking these like like so, um, and it would just it would it, it would work real well. You can use these for various um, types of decorative types of things like that uh, for uh, um, slopes as well. Um, all different kinds of uses for these. Even you could use them as little shoes for uh, figures and things like that. So all different types of things. But I got a bunch of these. I thought those were were cool. Okay, so we've seen these in the diner, and uh, this color here is a gorgeous color, uh, and I just thought I would get some of these because they had the one by twos and they had a whole bunch, so I got probably about a quarter cup full of these. I should have gotten more, but uh, I had other things to get as well, so I got some of these as well. Uh, let's see what else did I pick up in this, uh, in this bird. Now, I got these, these wonderful curved pieces. But if you notice, these curved pieces are a little bit different because these have studs on this side. So these actually can kind of be placed up for decorative uh, um, uh, purposes on buildings and such like that. Or if you do have anti-studs um, and, uh, and, and doing some studs on the side construction or, or upside down type construction, um, these can go as well. So I uh, usually see a lot that have the anti-studs here, but these come with the studs uh, on that side. So I picked up a bunch of those. Now, these, of course, can be used for a lot of different things. These can be used for furniture arms, for the tops of furniture, for beds, that sort of thing. They can also be used for decorative purposes for buildings and such like that. So there's all different kinds of ways that you can use these sides, studs on the side construction type of thing. Um, and I picked up a whole bunch of these, about a quarter of a cup of these as well. Um, then what I really wanted to get, and I should have got a whole cup. I don't know what I was thinking, but I got these. There are a whole bunch. I probably picked up half a cup of these, so I might have maybe three, four hundred of these uh, tops, um, but these clear barrels. Now, these clear barrels can be used for lights. They can be used for, you know, lantern type lights. They can be used for lamps. Um, they can be used for glasses and, and uh, um, you know, uh, uh, beverage containers and stuff, but if you start stacking them on top of each other, you get a really cool glass element that you could add in your builds um, or glass pipes uh, as maybe a kind of a, a, um, a, a, a an air tube uh, where things travel through that sort of thing you could always put a pin through there to give it a, a, a pin of a, a particular color a technic pin um, you know the, the bars that you could stick through there that would give it a different color and things like that so these can be used all different ways so I picked up some of those as well Okay, now the next thing I got was a half cup full of tan plates. And what I did was, um, for the most part, there's here's some that are kind of uh, that are that are loose, 
But for the most part, what I did was I stacked them together like this. Now, if you're gonna do these cups, you can stack these around as I did. You can put them in the center and all that sort of thing. And then put, uh, um, as you see, it is all falling in right now. But basically what I did was line these up along the side. And what you need to remember when you, when you do this at the pick a brick wall is to offset the plates. If you don't offset them and you put them all in one big stack, they are going to be nearly impossible to pull apart. But these, they're easy to pull apart because uh, I offset them. So that's what I do with uh, all of uh, my plates. And this is a technique that you'll find a lot of uh, A-Falls and a lot of people who uh, work with Lego do. Like I said, if you put them all in a stack without offsetting them, it is extremely hard to get them off. You need X-Acto knives and you might scratch them and all that kind of stuff. So you can fit, as you can see, you can fit a lot, a lot of stuff um, in this, uh, this half cup. Um, so you can see all the, all the plates here that I'm getting out of this. Um, and then all of, all of, all of this basically. Um, so you can see all of that. Now in the bottom, what I did was I filled this little bottom because don't forget you have this bottom down here and of course it's all falling apart now, but it was really filled when it was all uh, put together. But I have this right here. Um, I put these little plates. So you can put one by ones, two by twos, three by threes. Those, those, uh, little things can go down in here. So I encourage you when you fill your cups, um, that for instance, here, I bump this out. For instance, what I did was put this in here. You put this right here on the side like this. I'll have to hold it sideways here so you can see. You put a couple of these in here, and then you take uh, your uh, your stacks and you just start stacking them around. First of all, before you do that, before you do that, you fill those little gaps down there with all of, all of the little stuff, right? So you fill all that in so that's not wasted space. And then you start putting these in. Um, and then after that, then once you get all that in, you just start filling in the holes and stuff. So that is a half cup of 10 pieces that I need for my Six Figs amusement park and for my beach. Uh, and I got quite a bit of, uh, quite a bit of stuff. Okay, let's look at the next cup. This is another half cup that I filled to the rim. Um, and of course, I did stick in the stud there, I, I, the, uh, the um, four bricks. Now, I had little stuff to fill in the top, so I filled them up with these white jumpers. You can never have too many jumpers as far as I'm concerned. Um, but then after the jumpers, um, we basically have, oops, kind of got it off, off camera there, sorry about that. But we basically have all of these. So just three by um, one uh, bricks in white, that nice bright white. If you recall from a haul video a few weeks ago, I got an, an entire, I got two large cups of the two by one white bricks. And so this time I got the threes. Um, to fill in the bottom of the cup, remember that indentation that we have down here in this cup to fill that in? Um, I always try to do something. I could have used the white jumpers, but I decided I'll pick up some more of these sand green tiles, these two by one tiles. Um, so that works as well. So that is that particular cup, the white jumpers and the uh, three by ones, and just a few of these sand green tiles. Now this next cup is really, really cool. Look at just the coloring of this cup. Just the, 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 <laughs> the layers here are just absolutely gorgeous. Um, so we got this cup here, and of course, again, to put in the stud, I got uh, four blues, just because I like blues. But let's take a look at all of the stuff that's here. Oh my gosh, look at this, look at this. All right, well, what the heck do we have here? Let me just uh, move it here it's for the camera. Well, look at this. The, it is Halloween season here, um, and uh, it is all kinds of great goodness at the Lego store. These vine elements. Now, these vine elements can be used for a whole lot of things. It can be used for octopus legs, for plant legs and arms and all that kind of stuff. You can actually use it for vines. You could use it as caterpillars. <laughs> you could use this for a lot of different things because this fits into an anti-stud perfectly. Um, and so you can use these pieces for a lot of different things. And your minifigure's hands can clutch onto these as well. So I got, I don't know what I'm going to use them for. I got a ton of them. I got a ton of them. And look, we got a bone yard. Oh my goodness. Look at this. I picked up all these bones. Um, they had a whole bin full of bones at the pick a brick wall. 
So I got bones. You never know what you could use them for. You could use them for elements, um, obviously for Halloween, but these are the long ones. So these long ones can actually be used um, as uh, curtain rods, uh, if you're the Flintstones, I guess. Um, but uh, they, seriously, they could be used as curtain rods, decorative elements. Um, they could also be stacked um, and be put on clips uh, like this uh, and to be used for um, blinds for a window. Um, and so there's lots of different things that you can use these for. Um, I picked up a bunch of them. These came in a bin with all of these. So there were crystals and bones in one huge bin at the Lego pick a brick wall. Um, you know, having these wonderful crystals are great. These can be used for chandelier pieces. You can do some uh, upside down, uh, and it's kind of hard because these are such small pieces, but upside down hanging. And you can use these kind of in a round pattern uh, and go all the way around to make a nice uh, crystal chandelier in red or a lamp, that sort of thing. Um, I picked up purple pieces. They had several different types of purple pieces there. One type of purple piece they had was the, were these right here. Um, and these, of course, can be used in a lot of different ways to top off furniture um, for bed frames. Um, they can be used for roof pieces. Uh, they could be put together um, and used uh, uh, as, as, as decorative pieces or wall pieces, that sort of thing. Um, lots of different ways to use this as a saddle even. You could put on a horse piece, a uh, Lego horse piece. Um, you know, you can, you can uh, attach these like this and, and get a nice kind of a, a, a sloped roof going, if you will. Now, to, uh, um, to, to work with those, I also got a bunch of two-by-one purple bricks. Uh, you know, I don't have many of these, and purple is one of those colors you don't get a lot of. Well, they had a whole bin full of these at the Pick a Brick store. Um, again, I don't know why I didn't get cups of each one of these. I wanted to so badly, but I only had so many points to use. Um, so anyway, so I got those. Then, look at this. This is an interesting piece. Um... Please tell me what sets this, this is from, but it's a cool piece. Now, I, I've seen this piece many times before, um, but uh, this is in this greenish olive color, uh, which I, I, I haven't seen. I'm not really sure where it comes from. I'm sure, obviously, it comes from something, but I haven't seen this, all, this piece in olive color. Most of the time, I see this in gray or brown. So I just had to pick up some of these. Um, not really sure what I'm going to use them for, but, you know, I mean, when you stack them together, again, you start to get kind of a, a really interesting tile roof. This would make a really interesting tile roof if you had hundreds of these. Um, now that I think about it, it sure would, wouldn't it? Hmm. Anyway, this is a really cool piece. The last piece I got, I got a few of these. Uh, these are obviously fender pieces for cars, but can be used for various other purposes as well. And there's a, a dent type of, uh, um, of, of part right here, which makes it kind of interesting. The other thing I got was a whole bunch of these pieces. Um, and uh, you can hear my dog barking in the background again. I don't even know if you can see, but these little horn pieces here. I picked up a whole bunch of these. Um, not sure what I'll use them for, but you can always use them, I guess, for decorative purposes, obviously. If you stacked a whole bunch of these up together, um, you would have a really cool top to a building. Or you could kind of put these in a clip with a plate with a clip, um, and that would be really cool as well. Um, and then a, it is Halloween, so they did have the cobwebs um, and the spider webs, so I picked up uh, probably about 10 or 12 of these. Another thing that I got, an entire cup full or half cup full, are the 4 by ones with studs on the side. Now, these are kind of pricey when you price them out on uh, um, BrickLink and or the Lego shop at home. So uh, I, I picked up an entire cup of these, or half a cup, um, and so I probably have about 200 of these um, shoved in this cup. That is about it. That's about all of my haul and a whole bunch of different things. Um, I hope you enjoyed uh, seeing some of these great parts. Uh, check out your local pick-a-brick wall if you're so lucky to have a Lego store in your neighborhood. And if not, get on the bits and pieces and get some of these cool parts, particularly some of these Halloween parts that are, they're, they have now. Really, really cool. Um, and just in time on the pick-a-brick wall for Halloween. So anyway, thanks for watching. I appreciate all your support and all of the Lego love that you're showing to our channel. Um, check us out on Facebook, on Instagram, and on Flickr. This is Dr. McBrick, signing out.